A lot of things happening to your character in the second season. Mm -hmm. and so, what do you think is coming for him? Well, um, especially with the end of the season. At least we know at the end of the second season that John Alden's alive. Uh, let alone what happened uh, at the beginning of the first season, but mm -hmm. we thought he might be dead. Um, I, I don't really think that for a third season, I'm not really sure how much he's going to transition. He's still distraught. There's a possibility of Mary Sibley being uh, the love of his life, being dead, and now giving her own life for his. Um, that's gonna. I would think he's been in a spiral this year, mm -hmm. a downward spiral. I could only think it would get worse. Uh, he's still not really welcome back into the town of Salem, so he might still be on the run. He might still be incredibly dirty. Uh, so <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to see. And um, oh, the cliffhanger, though, that was fun. Yeah. yeah, it was. It was hell of a cliffhanger. Yeah. Um, in terms of, I mean, we know the nature of the show, right? Has anything right. creepy happened to you on set? You know, we had a, I, now two seasons in, it's a little hard to remember back onto the first season, but I do know that there was a lot of almost poltergeist type issues in the beginning of the first season where we had a lot of glitches and we had a lot of horrible weather and then it, the weather was suddenly fine and just a lot of interesting things that we could poten potentially attribute to the fact that we were doing a show about witchcraft. <laughs> um, but it kind of just, it we, we came in... Uh, like endeared with the city of Shreveport and the state of California and uh, everyone seems to love us down there and nothing really happens anymore. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Have a great Comic-Con. All right, thanks. Thank you. Me.